Hey guys, this is Themistocles, and this is a another Rome Total War battle. And this is a two vs two battle this time, and I'm in command of the House of Julii Romans, and my ally, uh, soldier of Macedon, is in command of Macedon. Funnily enough, and my army consists of one, two, three, four, four archer auxilia, five, no, seven archer auxilia. I think we've got the Silver Silver upgrades and I also have one Urban Cohort, that's where my general's at, there he is, and I also have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Legionary Cohorts, and that's the bulk of my infantry, and they are all heavily upgraded, some of them, most of them are gold gold, and some of them are Silver Silver. And, what I'm, and my ally has Phalanx Pikemen and he has 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 units of Phalanx Pikemen. I can't even pronounce that properly. And he also has 2 units of Cretan Archers. And for his cavalry he has 4 units of Companion Cavalry. And they are heavily upgraded to Gold Silver. And we are fighting against the Zinx, uh, the MOTW clan, and they're a newly formed clan. Uh, and one of them is the Seleucid Empire, and I've forgotten who the other one is. But yeah, what we're telling each other now is, oh, here we are. Well, I'll show you their armies first. And they're going to hill camp, which is not surprising. And I actually thought. MOTW Zinc before and beat him. So, this is the second time. His army consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 urban cohorts. And I can't see the upgrades from this far, I don't think. Oh, yes, I can. They have got no upgrades on them. And he also has a lot of archers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 Roman archers, which are the equivalent, equivalent of peasant archers for me. Well, for his ally, and he also has heavily upgraded Praetorian cavalry, and he has six units of them. And his ally, MOTW Party Rock, has lots of cataphracts. He has three, four, four units of cataphracts, heavily upgraded, and then he has two Silver Shield Legionnaires. Well, Three, four, five Silver Shield Legionnaires, and three, four, five, six Silver Shield Pikemen. Let's see what upgrades they have. I don't think they have any. No, they don't have any upgrades. Any. Well, they might have one. I don't know what that is. And then he also has some peasant hatches. So yeah, they're just gonna. He's going to help run up the hill to his ally and they're just going to camp there and wait for us to get to them and this is pretty annoying when the uh, clans do this and they really shouldn't it's just how many advantages do you need you've got tons of cavalry I don't have any cavalry whatsoever and they're also going to hill camp and wait for us to walk forever up here so but we do have the archer superiority, so what we're going to do is we're going to use our archers to make them charge at us, and that's how we're well. That's how we're going to proceed. And seeing as I don't have any cavalry, he's going to send. Well, I'm going to interlace with his army, and he's going to protect me with one cavalry of companions on that right, and he's also got his triarii ready. Oh no, that's my triarii. I didn't even see them. So I also have a unit of Terrarii, two units of Terrarii actually, these are not upgraded. These are just to protect my flanks from his cavalry, and these guys come in massive uh, use later. So yeah, nothing happens for about 10 minutes, so I'm just going to skip this part. So yeah, not much happens for about 15 minutes then, all that happened was us walking up the hill, and it was really annoying because they kept selecting triple speed, which we were not going to do. I mean, if you're going to hill camp, don't get impatient because it's your own fault. 
it's uh, we're not going to run and waste our energy yet, trying to get up there. So what I do is I send my archers to the front and I'm about to lay down a volley of arrows to block out the sun on these guys. And it's actually changed, the weather's changed from the start of the battle, that's how long we've been going. And pretty soon, Party Rock is going to make a huge mistake with his Carfax. And these guys actually invited me in their clan before, but I don't see the point in joining the clan. Especially not a newly formed one. So, my ally Soldier of Macedon, he does really well in this battle as well. And he is bringing up his Keaton Archers to get in range of the social legionaries and he's going to start raining volleys down. Although meanwhile, my guys are shooting tons of arrows and these will really hurt the enemy and it will make them... And these, my archers come in really handy because it makes uh, the enemy do some really bad moves later. And you can see they're moving all their cavalry to the right hand side. And they're going to try and go for our archers, which is not a good move. So yeah, this is what you want to do. If people are hill camping, you want to try and make them do the first move. Because they're going to panic. And look, what he does here, he, he pretends to charge but then turns around. Which is not good, because he's going to get shot from the back and you're going to be vulnerable. And we, we, we tell our archers to aim on a catafax, as you can see. And they're getting hit after hit after hit. And if you're going to go for a charge, don't half out of it, because you just lost a ton of troops turning your back. And he, he gets a, an alright charge on the Cretans, but the companions are there to meet them, and I'm, I've got his back by showering these battalions, and I'm also hitting these cataphracts at the same time. And I've also got my Triarii. This is what you want to do if you have lots of archers, you want to get spearmen to protect the Triarii. Well, you want to get spearmen to protect the archers, I mean. And his units are out here. And he's going to have to retreat his cavalry, and he's going to take tons of uh, hits to the back. Look at all them at, uh, arrows flying down. Even with all that heavy armour, it's going to take a ton of casualties. And this is what we really want to do. If we neutralise their cavalry, we knew we could win this. So, as you can see, he charged me, but I had my spearmen, Triarii, waiting there, and the Triarii are going to slaughter these half tracks. And that's it, they're out. And this unit actually came back, but there's so few of them left, they're not going to make too much of a difference. And he's actually just going in for another charge, which is pretty silly because it's going to get uh, arrows and arrows really down in his head. And look what he does here. We've forced them to make the first move and they're just sending all their cavalry in and it's proving a massive mistake for them. And uh, the Zinc is also sending his urban cohorts in. And he's going to come directly for me and he's going to try and outflank me, so I reposition a bit. And I send my archers to the back and my legionary cohorts to the front. I'm not bothered if these archers start firing on my guys because this have got massive armor and they've got massive shields, which which will deflect basically nearly all the arrows that these guys fire. On. So while they're walking, I'm just hailing them with uh, arrows right now because my guys have a longer range than these. And yeah, he's going to try and go for my archers, which are ripping his cavalry apart. Look at this. Bodies. Bodies falling everywhere, dropping like flies. It's a constant volley. And if you're going to go for charge, please do not half out of it. Do not go down there and then go back up, because you're going to lose a ton of troops doing it. So we've heavily depleted their cavalry right now, and this this is this is all the uh, Seleucid guy has got left. Uh, from six units, I think, of cataphracts, he's down to three. 
and soldier of Macedon, put some uh, cavalry to support my flank, um, and to support my prairie ice spearmen as well. And I'm going to try and help him by aiming all my uh, archers on his cavalry here, because his companions cannot stand up to, let alone one unit of Tauri cavalry. Never mind, four units of five. That's how many there yeah, there's five units here. We're all in a massive club. My axe is a So I said to send my PRI in, hoping to bog them down, but there's so many of them, they're just supposed to do it. And my archers get... They have a bad day right now, because my archers... As soon as there's going to be a mass route for my archers, they're just going to pour in. And this is where I asked my soldier of Macedon to help me because I'm in trouble right now and he detached the unit of phalanx to help me. But anyway, the infantry battle, these imitation legionnaires cannot stand up against my proper disciplined first cohort legionnaires. So my guys are winning that battle. And over here, these urban cohorts seem to be beating my legionary cohorts, especially with his big cavalry charge that took out most of my infantry there. So all I've got left now is these guys, archers, and these over here. But my opponent is still 100% intact, so what I'm going to try and do is, I'm, I'm not bothered by his infantry, I'm just trying to aim all my archers on his cavalry, because these are a major problem right now. But seeing as uh, I've got all them archers, they are heavily depleted right now compared to what they were over there. Oh, yeah, he gets bogged down in my spearmen. And even though my Fiori are almost searching the picture and I send in some more, there's so many of them, they're still getting pummeled. And one of his units starts to out. Look at the body of Blue and uh, Macedon companion cavalry. And this is when I turn my guys off skirmish mode and I just send them in there to try and just kill, just rout these throwing cavalry. And they went up next week so they've been having a field there on my archers. And over here, uh, the, my ally is facing off against the Seleucid, Social Pikemen. The gods have filled the heart of the enemy general with fear. And these now Social Pikemen the are better than like uh, my ally's phalanx. He still has enough counterpacks left to get a nice rear charge on my allies, so it's quite good. And this, this really hurts his left flank. But somehow it doesn't help him. And this is when the Phalanx Pikemen start to obliterate the uh, Social Pikemen. So maybe they are better off than the Social Pikemen, I don't know. This is a nice close up, and look at that heroic guy just pummeling his way through there. So yeah, the battle over here, he's uh, he's got no more cavs left, so I finally killed them all. My trio guy have been chasing them for ages. And some of, most, some of my guys have just stopped routing, which is good. And uh, but he's still got a ton of archers and urban blood which are beating my Legion of Cohorts. And this is where he helps me with his uh, Phalanx Pikemen. So he helped kill them, uh, that massive clump of cavalry in his job. Which is good. And my ally completely obliterates the uh, Seleucid Empire party rock. So at this point we know we've uh, pretty much won it. And when he started charging his cavalry in, I thought, thought that he uh, he would have won, but luckily he didn't. One on one, my guys are actually doing pretty well against his urban cohorts, which and they're actually winning them, which is surprising. Because they're better than my guys. Even though my guys are better than urban cohorts, they're just really, really good at this game. Best 
But he still has gather packs left, and he's getting nice stamina and wolf spikes on my uh, infantry. And I'm hoping that that doesn't cause him as well. It's a little late, it doesn't. Your general now lies oh, dead because sorry. of his foolishness. So all my guys his start will lose here, heart. But my guy has so much infantry left that he's able to help me. And these archers are still firing on the uh, catapacks, and so they. Units march. And I'm basically out of uh, infantry at this point. I've only got archers left, so I send my arch auxilia to melee these Roman archers and hopefully route them. Plus, my guys get better in melee, and it actually does route them, which is pretty nice. So I send these guys back down to deal with the rest of his archers, which are a pain the in enemy the general is running. The enemy general is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. Yeah, look at all the bodies. He's just, just like a mass, mash of pain just thrown together. So this was a pretty big Denari battle. It was a very good battle, actually. And me and my ally were constantly talking to each other to protect my flanks, seeing as I had no cavalry. But yeah, at this point I'm just chasing down his arches, seeing as he didn't want to admit to me. And um, Party Rock decides to leave soon, because he knows that he's lost. And this is when uh, Patriot admits defeat. But yeah, my opponent act actually was ripped apart in these, uh, these Silver Shield fightmen. It's just surprising, to be honest. I thought the Thelen fightmen would have uh, lost against these Silver Shields. Chasing these archers down. See, we were asking him to admit defeat, but he didn't want to. My arch auxiliary is still chasing down these writing units for some reason. I don't know why. Slaughtering them. He actually routes some of uh, Soldier Macedon's army to them, which is pretty amazing to be honest. And he's still got a ton of arrows left, which I don't know how. And these guys are just chasing after this one urban cohort. He's spamming. Yeah, my opponent uh, defeats and defeat here, and well done to my ally. He did really well. Soldier of Macedon, and I'm pretty sure you got that name off Prince of Macedon. But yeah, if you go up against hill campers, that you want to make them make the first move and make them make the mistake here. Our and this is where he makes defeat. A tribute to Roman strength and honor. And it's just a ton of bodies on the battlefield. And this is an average victory. Uh, me and my ally. Well, I got 1,246 skills. My ally got 899. MRTW Zinc got 1,085, and his clan member got 789. Good game to my opponents, and well done to my ally. This was a really good battle.